In this video we're going to be showing how to change the battery in an Asus UX581 series laptop. To perform this process you'll need a few tools including a standard Torx bit screwdriver set, a regular Phillips head screwdriver, and of course a replacement battery. I recommend first checking the health of your battery with a third party tool such as hardware monitor or you can also do this through the system BIOS or through a variety of other free tools. You can see for example on this particular laptop the wear level is 25 percent. It's currently 12 percent charged and here you can see the design capacity and the fully charged capacity of the laptop's current battery. This wear level of 25 percent isn't really terrible. That means it still has 75 percent of its original capacity remaining but obviously we want to try to get that replaced once we get up to about 30 to 40 percent wear level. Anything more than that and you're going to see significant degradation in the performance of the laptop when operating on battery. Next you want to flip the laptop over and rest it on something soft. There are a total of 10 screws on the bottom of the laptop. To save time I've already removed them and set them off here to the side. You'll notice that there are three different sizes. The smallest ones along the four holes in the front, larger ones in the four holes along the back, and then there are two more that are underneath these little rubber covers located here and here. And you just kind of need to take the tip of your screwdriver and pry those out a little bit so that you can get access to those two screws underneath. With all of the screws removed, you can grab the bottom panel where the hinges are and you should be able to just lift it off and set it to the side and this gives you access to the internals of the machine. From here you can see a variety of components such as the system fans, the Wi-Fi card and BIOS battery underneath this plastic cover, the processor, CPU, GPU are up here underneath these heatsink pipes the two speakers here on either side and of course the battery right here which is what we are going to be replacing today. All of those screws which I showed a moment ago can be removed with your Torx T5 screwdriver. To remove the battery you need to remove this plastic cover here which is just held on with a slightly sticky back and we can set that off to the side. The battery connector which you should be able to loosen with your fingernail and just push that up a little bit so that it disconnects. Now we're going to need to take our standard screwdriver and loosen all of the screws around the battery. You may also notice that the speaker wires are taped down to the battery so we may need to move those a little bit out of the way to get the battery completely removed. And also this little piece of foam padding. A helpful tip I can suggest is to take a look at the new battery and using that you can see where the screws would go through. Once you've removed all the screws, you can begin lifting the battery out, being careful not to damage any of the connectors or wiring around it. As I mentioned before, you may need to move those speakers a little bit to give yourself some extra clearance because of the wiring. Then we can go ahead and put our new battery in. Once you have the battery reinstalled and the cables tucked in neatly, you can go ahead and start putting those screws back in.
once you have your battery screwed back in I recommend taking a moment to blow out the inside with a little bit of compressed air just make sure your fans are clean and around the heat sink pipes and the vents on either side and then you can go ahead and put the bottom of your case back on Once you are done installing the replacement battery, your last step is you want to fire the machine back up and check that the battery works and is holding a charge. You can do that again through BIOS by tapping the escape key after turning the machine on to enter BIOS or here with the free hardware monitor tool. You can see now with the replacement battery installed, the wear level is 0%. And the charge level is currently showing is 52%. And uh, you can see it's actually going up a little bit here as I'm recording this as the new battery is starting to take on its first charge. They typically come, you know, about 50% charged from the factory. So everything here looks good. I tested the machine without the AC adapter. It was able to power on. The new battery is detected. The wear level on the new battery is 0%. And it does show that it is receiving a charge. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out a lot. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. Have a great day and stay safe out there.